That's what Marco just showed us. Beautiful design, Gorilla Glass. What was that, the pillow-shaped backing of the device? Look at that. Carl Zeiss 8 megapixel camera. But for those of you who are particularly sharp-eyed, you'll notice that there's one extra button on the top. So you know it's not the same device. So the question, of course, is what is it? Well, what this is, is a product that's codenamed C-Ray. And it is Nokia's first Windows Phone device. So you know what? It is hard right now. But you and how it is, I, I, I would say that it's extremely people-centric device, people-centric smartphone, and how this Mango operating system works. And I think that this is the perfect match with our Nokia brand promise as well of the connecting people, that we have really smart and easy communication offered, and also many other things. But let me start showing you what does it mean in practice and how it works. And let's start from my favorite part, the people hub. It's all about the people. People are the ones that matters most and are the most important. Advanced features there that, okay, you take the picture, for example, you take a look at the picture, and actually, it has also this kind of face recognition. I can type that, okay, they are my kids, and, and whoever they would be, that I can type the name. So it's recognizing the faces and, and, and many, many, many functionalities built in um, in the device. Also, the only device is running the Xbox. It's not only about the playing the games with the Nokia Siri and with this one, but it's offering the full experience of the, on the, on the playing the games and, and, and all the social aspects of gaming there. That, uh, that um, for example, I created yesterday my avatar for my Xbox. I put the same hairstyle, I took the same shirt I have, the same jeans, and I can make the guy jumping here when I'm pressing and the dancing dancing and uh, so now you know my my uh, xbox name there so we can pick up friends there on these games and everything what we do there extremely funny extremely funny um, this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone but the office works very well in these products the Nokia Siri. so that um, you can see that uh, yes you can do all the notes uh, excel powerpoint word you can create, you can edit the documents, you can do actually almost everything there with the Nokia Siri. Only limitation is then the, you know, like the Excel sheet with the screen size there, that what you're doing. But everything this is possible. And as you can see from here, the SkyDrive, you can store your documents and, and, and get those to your device and you have always your, your things with you wherever you are. Um, what else we have? For example, the calendar. This is a good example also with this uh, people aspect here. That actually, when I have the Facebook events, for example, they come also visible in my calendar. Just a differently color coded there. But I can see that, okay, these are the birthdays in a calendar, get the Facebook events, and also the other things. And it works really, really clever way um, there. Um, applications. This is quite important thing there and they're like of course the marketplace is the, uh, the place to get the application but let me show you one example like the British Airways application that they are introducing for the windows uh, uh, this year so that in this application you can see that okay I have booked the flight booked the flight for London tomorrow I can see that okay I have this booking in place I can see the, all the details of my reservation that uh, uh, reservation and also the flight info, my details, my frequent flyer uh, information, and, and many more things. So it's, it's the, really the, the advanced application, and I'll show you how it works in a second, a better way. But these applications that, you know, today, every day, uh, especially our competitors, there's a, is it like the millions of applications already there. But in this Windows-based uh, uh, C-Ray product, these applications are part of these hubs. 
For example, when you are in a camera and the picture hub, you can there to download this kind of um, photographing related applications there. Or if you are in some other hub, like in a, or in a Xbox, you can download the games. So there's a, like a logical grouping for the application, make it more relevant and convenient for the consumer. But now you can see, like this application, tomorrow is my flight, so I need to check in. I got the pop-up notification, uh, from the BA that, okay, I have to now the check in for the light. I get my flight details, yes. But then the next thing is there that, okay, I want to check that uh, where is the seat. I can book the seat with this um, application. What I can do is then that I can, I can uh, browse through uh, the seat map in the plane. I can see that, okay, there is the uh, free seat. I choose that one. And it shows that, okay, like a flight through the plane, that, uh, that where is my place. And actually, this is the great thing for the developers uh, with the C-Ray and this one, because the Microsoft is off offering all these developer tools that they are offering also to game developers. So that same assets and the tools can be used uh, for creating the applications so that, uh, that all this can be done. Okay, now I took the last row, but let's go back. I tell you the secret, it's my birthday tomorrow, so I upgrade myself to the business class. And because it's the company flight, I hope that the company pays the expenses as well. So, <laughs> so and then I say my reservation. So, book myself to the business class, and then what I can do there is there that I got the ticket. They can, at the airport, they can read directly the ticket, my flight ticket. There and okay, I can even do this one that I now the pin the, uh, my flight ticket on the home screen here, and you can see that actually the ticket is here. And this works even to offline. So when I go to the airport, I don't even have to have the connectivity in place because I just show this one and I can uh, get um, to the plane. How many of you think that the great smartphone must have a great browser? Exactly. And, and, and the great thing is there that uh, C-Ray with this latest Internet Explorer 9 brings a really a great browser. It's the, exactly the same browser as you have on a PC. And what does it mean? That, you know, whatever website there is, that you can be sure that this website is displayed exactly as it was made and get the full capabilities and the functionalities of this page. And because it's the HTML5 capable browser and supporting that one, you can even go there and take a look at, okay, I opened the video from here. It's the HTML5 based video. And it's played uh, in, a, in a browser here. And uh, here we go. No flash and, 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 and other things. Just really the full page as exactly as it is. And then, Maybe the one of the last things. I was just remembering there that, uh, that um, I think it was the Nokia 7650 10 years ago, the first smartphone that was introduced. But if I'm right, there was a multitasking in that device 10 years ago. And uh, I tell you the secret, the C-Ray has also the multitasking. So that we are used to. And you can jump smoothly between the application. The last thing I want to tell you there is that when we start shipping the C-Ray to the consumers, we will have there the Nokia applications. We will have the Nokia Maps Drive application for true navigation. We will have the pre-installed application uh, for consumers that they can smoothly transfer the, all the contacts uh, to new Windows-based uh, device there. The most likely the many users will be the ex-Nokia Nokia users there. And a couple of more applications. And then there will be an opportunity for the local people also then to install the locally relevant applications on this, on this UI. But I hope that you enjoy.